hey guys welcome to my channel to my new video it's a really sad video i spent a whole year building this super team and today it's going to be the last game ever it's um it's really hard to do i won't lie i'm kidding there's ronaldo there's quaresma you're gonna love it this is a great episode just stick around and watch it i have an excuse to wear this shirt fifa 17 i told you this wasn't wasted money yes yeah 17. i'm a fucking idiot so this is my team it's not the best ever but it's the best i've ever had and i'm very proud of it I've earned the coins by, you know, playing the game, some weekend leagues, I'm not a great player, I finished, my best was uh, a gold one, but I trade a lot, and I think I'm a good trader. Total value of my squad when I bought it, it was around 2 million, so you can say that's, that's my coin balance. Let's talk a little bit about the team, obviously there's the superstar Ronaldo, he's like the Joe Charles of this team, if you don't know who Joe Charles is, and this is the first year that I managed to afford Ronaldo and actually build a team around him. He's a true game changer, he can do everything by his, on his own, he can make you win games that you don't deserve to win. I owe him a lot. And then there's Nani, there's Ricardo Quaresma. They are both 5 star skillers, just like Ronaldo, which makes my attack the most fun attack I've ever had in FIFA. Everyone is a sk skiller, everyone is a magician, everyone is a maestro. And then the rest of the team is in a hybrid between Portuguese and Liga Nosh. And you can probably guess why. I'm Portuguese, I, I, I do the teams I like. But throughout FIFA, I, I had all sorts of teams. I, I changed teams on a weekly basis almost. So let's see some of the stats of the players. As I said, I changed my team a lot, so none of these players have been in my club for a big long time. But Ronaldo has the best stats. If you combine his goals with his assists, he has more goal contributions than he has games. Considering I've played in Division 2 and 1, Weekend League and the Weekly Tournaments only, that's pretty good stats. Could be better, but that's still pretty good for my standards. Then there's Nani. He's the weak link of the front tree. He's still really good, but I think his main problem is he's not very strong and he falls really easily. And the tricks are not as smooth with him as the next guy. And then there is Ricardo Quaresma. I swear, this guy is amazing. I could say he's even better than Ronaldo, but I won't. Because it's Cristiano Ronaldo. We don't disrespect Cristiano Ronaldo in my channel. He also has more goal contributions than games. And for me, he's by far the best skiller on the squad. As for the rest of the squad, because it's a bit boring, I'll just let you watch in silence. While I watch you. Go on. Watch those stats. Yeah, watch them. Are we done? Good. Let's watch the final game. Before I say goodbye to this squad forever. And here we go, the final game of my team. It's against the Serie A God Squad. Look at that squad. It has to be more expensive than mine. Well, maybe not because I have Ronaldo. But anyway, there was another João Mario in his squad. So there will be two João Marios playing. Which one will be the best one? Well, I think it's the one that's playing with his Portuguese mates. João Moutinho which as a sporting fan i shouldn't really be using him because he was you know we call him the bad apple a maçã podre because he left us while he was the captain to go to a rival sporto but i have to respect porto and i can't talk about them on video because my girlfriend who will be watching this is a very <laughs> it's a very aggressive porto supporter so I have to watch my mouth. Anyway, yeah, Moutinho, I shouldn't be playing him, or PZ, or Ricardo Pereira, because they're rivals, and I'm a Sporting Lisbon fan, and there's no Sporting Lisbon players. By the way, it's not Sporting Lisbon, it's Sporting Club Portugal, but everyone calls them Lisbon. Anyway, I take Nani off, and I bring on Sun to show you what he's capable of. I'm sure you've all seen in other videos but who really shows you how to finish is Ricardo Quaresma. Now this guy is great. I, I know Ronaldo is a better card than him, but 
I honestly think he is quite close and is a almost a hidden gem. You can you can call him a hidden gem. You guys should try it. Just buy him. It should be so cheap right now. Here he is. He's, he's great. Also, another guy who left for Porto from Sporting with Barcelona in the middle. So I can't really say much about him. And my girlfriend actually loves Koresma. He's a great player. Here was it Koresma, but that was embarrassing. Can't have that. By the way, I'm. <laughs> yeah, the, the kit. Uh, it's a lovely kit, isn't it? Pink kit. This was the monthly kit award. Uh, I can't remember which month. I also have a green one. I didn't use it because of Kit Clash. I kind of regret it now because the only time you guys are going to see this kit is. I mean, this team, it's going to be on this girly kit, but it's, it's okay, you know, as long as we win. And I know it's not the best kind of, you know, <coughs> highlights because there's no spectacle. This was a close game and, you know, high level. I'm not calling myself high level, but very competitive and you just want to sweat it. And Ronaldo, <laughs> look my away fans. Ah, oh, depressing. Should be, I never played in my stadium on YouTube with this team, which is, which is sad. Anyway, you can imagine it. I like to play in a really small stadium, so it looks like it's an amateur team, but then there's Ronaldo and there's Quaresma and all these stars. And I won the game, which means I win Division 2. This is something, you know, I have a full-time job and I, I don't always have time for the weekend league, so sometimes I have to qualify again during the week. And my trick is... If I have some free time and I'm already qualified, I play, I play Divisions, Division 2 or Division 1 and I leave it one game only to play and if I win that game or draw, I get promoted or I hold the Division, so it's a guarantee qualification and it's, it's a trick that I have, sometimes I only need a draw and if I miss a weekend, it's fine, I just come back, do a game and I'm qualified again. So. Here's a little tip from me, you heard it here first. Yeah, it will be sad not to have this team again. Um, I can't even play with it anymore because this is an old account and I stopped paying it. So I have the new account you can see at, uh, that you see on, on, you know, on the Struggle to Glory with Joe Charles at 9 at HBO. Anyway, yeah, as you can see, qualified. Yeah, I ended up not playing that weekend league. The final game of Ronaldo for me, it's very sad, but l let's see if I can buy him again on FIFA 18, it's going to be my goal, I promise you. Thank you for watching and see you next time, bye bye!